Hi everyone, and welcome back. My name is Ethan Rito, and I'm an engineer here at Desktop Metal. Today, we'll be taking a detailed look at the Studio System printer. In earlier videos, we did a quick overview of the entire system and took a detailed look at Fabricate. Again, if you haven't seen those earlier videos, I really encourage you to go back and check them out. They're gonna give you an awesome understanding of the entire system and let you appreciate truly how amazing it is and how easy to use it is. So when we last left off, we had just finished setting up our gear in Fabricate and sent it over to the printer. Sure enough, if I take a look at the user interface, our gear is right here in the job queue. The Studio System is compatible with a wide range of materials, which we formulate specifically for this process. Today we want to print our gear in 17.4 pH, but the printer is currently set up for 316L. We're just going to need to make a few changes first. Before I actually swap out our material, I want to point out a few specific things to the Studio System that's different than FFF style printers. Instead of using a spool of filament to hold our media, we're going to use a cartridge like this one here. Inside of each of these cartridges are bound metal rods. This rod is a combination of metal powder, a wax binder, and a polymer binder. By using a rod instead of filament, we're able to extrude our material with more force. This leads to a higher density part. So now that we know what's inside of each of these cartridges, let's go ahead and swap them out. The Studio System is designed to make this process super simple. The cartridges live right up here on top of the printer. As you can see here, we have two cartridges on the left side to hold the metal rods, and two cartridges on the right side to hold the ceramic rods. These will be used for the interface layers. Since the ceramic material is the same for 17.4 and 316L, I don't need to worry about swapping out these two cartridges. I am gonna to need to swap out our 316L cartridges though. So we just need to simply press inwards on the cartridge and it will release itself from its locked position. Now, I'm just gonna slide out our 316L cartridges and replace them with our desired material. Here, it's gonna be 17.4 pH. All right, so now that we've swapped out our material, let's head down to the body of the printer and swap out our print head. So there's two reasons why we wanna make sure we swap out our print heads. The first reason is our last print head was printing 316L. Now we wanna print 17.4 pH. We wanna ensure that there's no cross contamination. The second reason is that our gear is quite small and has many fine features. So for this, we wanna use the Studio System Printer's high resolution print head. The standard print head has a size of 400 microns, but this print head has a size of 250 microns. This is going to allow us to extrude a much finer bead, allowing us to print very fine features. We're also gonna have a reduced layer height, allowing for a better surface finish on the final part. And just like that, we're ready to get our printer started. Once our part is complete, our gear will be in what we refer to as its green state. In this state, the part is composed of both metal powder and two types of binder. And we'll need to start the process of removing those binders to get a fully metal part. So be sure to check out our next video where we will take a look at how the D-binder works. In the meantime, be sure to head over to desktopmetal.com for more information.